You know he snapped though. That nigga, man. He snapped, bro. Man, what's poppin', y'all? It's the Wild Boy, the city DJ out of control. It's your favorite Uncle Spooty, aka the neighborhood supporter. And y'all know what fucking time it is, man. It's time to meet the connect, man. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Yeah, yeah. It's good to see y'all again. Most definitely, most it is, man. So man, listen, I was at we was talking about this shit earlier, man. Well, we said we was gonna talk about it. Like, y'all been with us this episode. Like 28. 20, yeah, almost 30 in. Almost 30 in, man. 30, we got the th almost at the 30 ball, man. Yeah. Like, what's y'all favorite, what's y'all favorite episode? Or moment, what's y'all favorite Meet the Connect moment? Like, put that in the comments. We're gonna make this a clip, because we want to know, what's your favorite Meet the Connect moment? Yeah. What's yours, bro? Um, it's too many of them bitches. Uh, I got... The obvious hoes, when we had the obvious hoes moment, because that was like, we, that was completely random. We was actually supposed to have a guest on this bitch. Yeah. And we actually made the episode on the spot. So Deja like, fucking vu. Which, this happens a lot. Deja fucking vu. This happens Speak, a lot. Speaking of. This happens <laughs> a lot. So we, we, we're not going to act like this is just not a normal thing. But that would be some of our funniest episodes, though. Yeah. And then um, the one with Vicky. Vicky D, when we had the uh, E Nas on the, 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 the four, the, yeah, that that <laughs> shit. Um, fucking Don P with the four for four, and then the, um, mm -hmm. the 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 DMs. Um, damn. Then yep. the pop the pops episode for sure, and then um. Damn, nigga. I like Courtney Bill. That nigga too. about to. I yeah, I, I, say, I, I like, I like all going. our shit, man. I knew that one was going to go in there. I like all our sure. shit. What, which I, one? The Courtney Bill. Oh, yeah. I it's knew a that lot of clips from that. It, 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 it is. It is. Be dropping them. Right. We got, yeah, time. man. We got a bunch of clips. Like, we just picked certain ones. Like, I think that'd be funny for y'all. You might think that's something y'all want to see. But we got way more clips. And the episode, like, an hour. Like, an hour some change. Like, we talked about some shit. Like, that different shit. That woke shit. Like. What's your What's your favorite? Uh. My honestly, my favorite one was the Mike Mike episode. Like my vet, my that was our first. Was that our first? Yes, episode? that was the first one. That's yeah. why. Like the Mike Mike episode, and it was so much. Man, let me let, let, let me be a real he, nigga right now. He, he fumbled. Let me. Let he me, dropped let, the bag. Let me be he a, fumbled a, a the real bag. nigga right now, bro. Because you know I gotta start. Uh, he fumbled the bag. Taking more accountability, man. He fumbled the bag. Fuck, that episode is like what two hours for real? The Mike Mike episode was originally two hours, dog. Like, I, no cap, swear to God. We had, we were talking about so much shit. Nigga, Calico called, faced, when he faced something? No, he called, he called the nigga. In, he called, we he, talked to the nigga Calico on this bitch, on the phone, nigga. We talked about Mike in jail and shit that pop. We talked about so much shit. And by it being the first episode, I ain't know this how nigga. this YouTube shit work. You this nigga. I'm like, bro, just we, let's just put the whole bit like. And I'm like, no, we ain't gonna put this two hours, bro. Niggas not gonna die. Come on, man, two hours. Nigga. You watch it for two hours, like all type of shit. So I told Focus, man, chop that bitch to thirty minutes, like forty five minutes, man. Man, that was the worst thing I could ever do, man. Like, and I, oh, we at I wanna, least could have did part one, part two, yeah, or something. This nigga said, and I'm like, all right, let me just give him the little rope. He can hang himself. I hung one. <laughs> so I snapped gotta let my your man do your shit. I snapped you know my saying? shit, bro. And I, I, like, oh man, that shit was a fun episode. We but, was hey, we ain't gonna. Make, Cal said he's gonna stop by this bitch. Hey, yeah. it ain't. It ain't. He did. It, we don't got the recording. We ain't we got, got the recording no more. But Cal, but Cal, you know, yeah. We I just watched your battle versus Hitman. Good work, man. I got you, I think 3 0. So, yeah, you talking that. I, I like how you talk your shit, man. Listen. You know what I'm saying? I need you in that bag every time. But, we, hey, yeah, so I got to, that's my fault, man. Like, if y'all go back to the Mike Mike interview and watch that shit, like, it was supposed to be way longer. I fumbled that bag, man. I did. But the Mike Mike episode still was my favorite episode just because, like, that was the first, that was our first one. Like, hey, nigga, we here. Like, we here. Like, you know what I'm saying? And he came in this bitch and did the freestyle too. Like, yeah, we here, nigga. Like, it's official, like you know what I'm saying. Um, you know? let me see what else. Uh, a moment, a moment. Cow moment is a good moment too, but unfortunately uh, y'all can't see it. 
That's why I would have said that moment too. Bro. The funniest moment was Vicky. Was yeah. it Vicky with the DJ shit? Oh yeah, that was a classic. I was sick. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sick yeah, yeah. when we did that shit. Like, I'm right here next to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? What? You DJing the uh the the gay party and the um. <laughs> And the story with, when I told the story about me and the uh, fame and shit, classic. That's a classic. Uh, that was a classic. It was. It was a. It was a classic. come as. I, I don't know what type of party it was. It was a come as you are party. Like I don't know. It, I, it, it was a female. If that makes it better. Does it? No. I don't, it don't. Know. I don't even know what that means. But <laughs> we gonna leave it there. I think you said the right thing. I think you said the right. Bro, I'm trying to think. Is. I got some other. Uh, I got another one, man. Uh, I got another one. <sighs> the Civil War shit, bro. The Civil War and the, um, yeah, facts, and the um, facts, 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 facts. And the, what, Ooh, what did you call Marathon? No shit. Chestnut checkers. Chestnut checkers. You came up with the. You Chess came up with that name. I said chestnut checkers. Yeah, I did. I, I came up with something else. Oh yeah, you was yeah okay yeah. yeah. I came with something else. But and them it. because them was them part of my favorite list because it had everybody talking like everybody had like even if you wasn't in the game like you had something to say about both one of them like you know what I'm saying. So marathon and, uh, Carter, I want y'all I want y'all to know this. So when it comes to like naming episodes, sometimes I do it, sometimes you might do it if you feel away. But most of the time I do. So the, the name of the episode is Chestnut Checkers. We're giving y'all a lot, a lot of behind the scenes shit right now, and that's cool. Chestnut checkers. The the name I had was what was it? Uh, it's not beef. It's just facts. Let me know which name y'all like better. It's not yeah, like it's it, not that's beef, too long. It's just facts. That's or too not long. beef, just facts. No beef, just facts. I think it's about some shit like that. Yeah, I I personally like that name, but you know what I mean. He, he chestnut, chestnut checkers. checkers. I like that too, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, cause it ain't. It's easy as niggas just thinking like, oh, I'm gonna do that. It's always about the long play, like you know what I'm saying? The long game. So I'll be coming with some. Shit I got a, I got a question for you. What? Because since we kind of like on the dealings of like the podcast. What's the most, what's the most irritating thing about working with me? Like, what's like the most like, like, what do you like, man, this nigga like. What Bro, this nigga, be, <laughs> like, this nigga, I don't, he don't get mad though. Like, 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 I'll be trying to like, and then the shit, okay, on the show, on the show, it be the shit he be wanting to talk about. I ain't gonna lie, half of that shit, I don't be knowing what the fuck be going on, man. I ain't even gonna lie, man. Like, but don't like granted, it be like shit that niggas talk about for real. I just me, I don't be as in tune as I should. And I be like, oh, like what? And then he always try to hit the rational, like, well, you know, no one's ever really wrong. You just gotta look like dog. Fuck that. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's the most irritating part about this nigga. He wanna be Mister Rat, the neighborhood supporter, like. That's me, man. You know? That's me. I, I embrace your out of controlness. I embrace your out of controlness. So, so basically. I don't even want to know. I'm not even going to. So we are not even going to ask. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm about to answer, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm about to answer this shit, bro. Oh, so basically, Lord. the things I like to want to talk about in the fact, what? That's that, why I try to be rational. Be rational. The thing about this nigga is he think, he always think I'm. I'm like an mo- uh, understanding person. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. He don't think I'm being understanding in the situation that I'm understanding. Only because it's not. Either it's not working in his favor or not. It just be like, bro, I'm really trying to find a compromise. But he don't really see that. It's like, like what? nigga, what? Like what, though? When you trying to do the DJ month. And I'm like, bro, I, I agree with what you're saying. Yada, yada, yada. But let's. I'm just trying to bring some other perspective in. It's just like, bro, what you no, saying? No, you was like, terrible. What yeah, you say? It's like, was no, like, I'm not was like, He was like, a whole month? We're going, a whole, you, that's a lot of DJs. You want to know a whole hey, month? Hey, bro, don't, don't yeah. ever. Hey, look, don't hey, ever hey. have me in the Johnny voice. Hey, Johnny, no, don't, ever, don't ever have me in the Johnny voice. Johnny, get your I, man. Hey, he, hey, uh, he doing that because of you. That, no, don't, no. Have me, <laughs> don't have me in the fucking Johnny voice, man. That ain't my shit, man. You like, this man? nigga was like, a whole month? Like, yeah, nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? It's four weeks in a month. It's four shows, bro. Like, we, like, and I already got shit locked in. Like, niggas with 30 or niggas ask, well, it's a whole month. I mean, we don't want to oversaturate it. Like, see, look, look, look. He don't know that. Right, right. He, look, 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 look. Oh, Listen, uh, but he don't know. I throw questions out there just for you to think. 
You have to just, you can't just be like, yeah, I'm going to do this and then be like, it sounds it sound straight. You have to assess the idea. You have to be like, all right, bro, what about okay, this? Okay, but you assess the this? idea before you answer, though. Like, it ain't to me to assess that the, the question I'm asking you, nigga. Like, boom, yeah. I'm, it's not for me to assess the idea if you're going to say that. It's like, both of us. That's why I'm but asking you I've questions. assessed it. That's why I'm bringing it to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so you so can do all that. Then all the questions I'm asking you should be easy to answer. They were. <laughs> I answered all the questions to that. It was the fact that. Well, but, that well, I mean, what did that matter, though? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> that ain't sound like an answer to me. But I'm saying. I like, mean, bro, it's just, it's just one month, bro. Like, <laughs> no, this nigga be like, okay, this nigga be like, uh, let's. What, what, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, bro. Whenever, know, hold on. Whenever he talk, like, bro, when you talk to this nigga on the phone, you can still tell he doing this. <laughs> like, how the fuck do I know you doing this while you talking to me? That. Like, I shouldn't be able to tell that through a phone conversation. No FaceTime. You can just tell this nigga doing this and all of this shit. Like, like bro, what the fuck? Listen, bro. The thing is this. He say, I say, I say, I say, yeah, let's do the whole month. You know what I'm saying? We go, ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, we don't get enough. I already think we don't get enough love and da, 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 You know, because I'm a DJ. You know what I'm saying? I feel that shit. So, he like, what you say? He say, are you, sh you, you sh I mean, you sure you want to do a whole month? Now, stop. Right there. The way, and that, no exaggeration, that's how he sounded when he said it. Like, does that sound like that's assessing the situation? Or is that like, eh, we gotta, can do gotta, it, gotta, bro, gotta, but we got to do it. Gotta, you got you to gotta defrost the chicken before you put it in the... Now, I uh, I propose the idea the, as DJ Month. Yes, nigga, if I'm saying DJ Month, yeah, I want it to be a month. Are you sure? That's a lot of DJs. and uh, This nigga was... His questions was every question of why I should potentially not go through with what I'm saying. And you then gotta he gonna, and then, the and then, he, and then he gonna make, but if you agree, so you weren't really against it. You just wanted to make sure it's planned. Uh, make sure it's thoroughly vetted. I gotta make sure. I gotta get. I'm asking questions so I can be like, okay, that makes sense. I know Easy. it made sense though. That's why I asked. I mean, that's why I brought it up. Like, hey. Let's, we want to do this? We made, we made it work. We, we had and a it happened. lot of well, great sure DJs. It happened, but you see, though, like, had a lot of great he, he had show. no intentions on saying no or no, but he just wanted me to go through all of that. For yeah, so what? So we can make it make sense. Let me, re okay, can you answer that question again? What? That was one of the irritants. Like, you see what I be saying? Like, that's why I be saying that be this shit with working with him. The, like, what? Hey, for me to really what? be, I got to be, I got to be bought in on the idea. So I got to ask these questions so I can know, like, okay, I feel that. Let me, let's go ahead. Let's go crazy. You, know you can saying? just say that though. But we end up doing it. So it's good. All right, let's, let's go ahead. And so that's his favorites. That's my favorites. Like you said, we want to know what you feel. Like, put in the comments, this put in all that. Let us know what your favorites are, man. Favorite moments, favorite episodes, all that good shit. But it's just something we kind of. Just saying, top. It's something we both kind of getting tapped into right now. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Well, you kind of been on and off. I mean, me, I've been on and off too. But the, the workout, the fitness shit. You know what I'm for saying? Real, for like, real. what what made you want to start getting in the gym and all of that shit? Y'all can't see it, but I got a beer belly gang. Like, my shit. Like, and I don't even drink beer. I drink beer, but you would think I drink them bitches on routine, man. Like, I don't. And I gotta get man. This nigga, he be fluctuating weight like the seasons. Bro. That's like what I mean. One be time saying. you be like, oh damn, bro, you getting like slim. Then the next thing you be like, and I don't even know what the fuck you be doing different, but it just be like. I don't either. That be the thing though. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know like, <laughs> I think you might know. Cause, I don't, because it's like. All right. Yeah. Like, unless. I be do I be slimmer when I be in a relationship, and then I so you, or do I be usually bigger? people get that's what I'm saying I don't that's what I'm saying I don't remember like mm. I been I had this for a minute and I got out of a relationship. You might have to think about that. Yeah, but I don't know though. But because in a relationship you're supposed to be eating more home cooked meals, mm. quote unquote. Supposedly, quote unquote. Not it doesn't happen all the time. You know what I mean? But quote unquote. You know. What I'm but saying? that's the thing. I and I I can't tell you like because when I. I've been in a relationship where I was in the gym, like getting slim. And then I've been in a relationship where I was big. I don't know, it might be the seasons. I'm sick, this nigga like. And the winter time, I'm gonna have my shit uh, yeah, cut up. He a seasonal fit nigga. Hey, I swear to God, but. He a seasonal fit nigga. Man. But I did start though. We did start. So who, who your, uh, you got a trainer or you just kind of got a No, I've been going shit? with my uh, Rico. 
I've been going, I've been going with Rico, man. Day one, he had me on some shit, bro. I felt like, man, I was about to shit on myself, bro. <laughs> like, bro, I went to that bitch. I'm thinking, first of all, I drank an orange juice before I worked out. That was a mistake, I believe. So, I drank that shit. Went in there. We walked for a uh, half. We walked a half a mile and shit. And the gym, nigga. First of all, wait. The gym was so out cold, nigga. They had a movie theater in that bitch. Oh, that's fine. With the 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 bikes in the front, the stairmasters in the middle, and the treadmills in the back of that bitch. So you can walk, run, or whatever while you watching the movie, nigga. That shit. Oh, that's fire. Good. I swear, uh, Edge. Edge, I'm, I'm gonna shout y'all yeah. out real quick. Edge, I don't know if it's Edge Fitness or Edge. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Edge Fitness. My they in there. lit. Yeah. But um, yeah, we did the half a mile. Then we did upper body, nigga. So it's like, it was one sit I had to do. We did the bench, and then we had to do, the, the reps was the bench, 10 on the bench, 10 on the shoulder things, and 10 on the uh, declines, and then eight. And then go down, right? Man, I hit the motherfucking shoulder shit one time. And I, ooh, I had to stop the middle of the workout, nigga. Like, hey, uh, I'll be right back, nigga. Like, nigga. How often you trying to go to the gym, though? I'm trying to go three days a week, though. That's what I'm doing. My shit is uh, Monday, uh, I think Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. My uh, trainer I work with is Sasha Ingram Fitness. <laughs> I've been seeing that. Yeah, i seen that. Bro, so, dude, step row is on Monday, then uh, Wednesday. Stop, Saturday. bro. Step aerobics. <laughs> Let's get it, man. You if y'all follow this nigga on Instagram, I can't even do bro, the other one, bro. Like, it's hurt. Like, bro, if y'all follow this nigga on Instagram, Spooky Step aerobics that going crazy. Sweet I be in that, that dead man. I be doing some strolls in that bitch, bro. Hey, look, man. My that shit is lit, bro. <laughs> that shit I always like step aerobics, so. I did step aerobics in college as an elective because I needed Yo, something to do, and that was like the last thing available. Be in that Since then, step aerobics be fire. <laughs> you work out your whole body while you doing some like dancey dance moves and shit, like like some strolling shit, bro. You, yes, I do. You, get down with my dance you, moves. <laughs> hey, you front doing it. You might like that shit. And he's the only nigga in the class. X came last time. X came in with somebody else in the back. Before X and came, that, 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 he was the only one nigga time in the class. That, so I don't know if that's a back. play. I don't know if he trying to drop some sauce for niggas on some low key shit. Oh, it's definitely but some sauce. Y'all can for sure. He be, the only, he be the only nigga in the class. There's a lot of women there trying to get their body right. Step to uh, hot girl summer and thought shit. Yeah, you can. Uh, and nah, some nah. Nah. <laughs> the instructor is a dude, so the instructor is a guy. So like, let's get no. It ain't nothing like that. It ain't no, nah, no. Nah, we ain't doing no. Why nigga Spoon he got his hands on his knees, second ass on some thought shit. Nah, Why nigga? <laughs> I'm sick that's what you think about when you think about step rowing. You want to do that shit. No, because I only see females do it though. Right. Of course I see the male instructors for sure. I be seeing that. But I be seeing in the class, I be usually seeing all females. Yeah, they do. So if y'all dudes are single, you wants a woman that's working on their body. And but females like don't want to get bothered though. Like that ain't it. Females don't want to get bothered while they're working out. You ain't got to bother them while you're working out. I'm saying. So like, you saying you're going to be like walking around I and mean, like while they doing the workout, nigga, you working out too. That's what I'm saying. But like, I don't know. Y'all if you come off, then you. the gym? That's the question. Yeah, we got to get it. We got to get some. So shout out to Ingram man. Fitness. I, I had started my first day of like the official workout outside of Step Robbins. And when I tell you, man, first 10 minutes tore me up, bro. We did. Had to do like 20 weight presses. Did after that 20 push-ups. After that, do put some weight on the bench. Do 20 of those, 20 hand, I mean, whatever, push-ups. After that, put some more weight on the bench, like all 30, 30 second like breaks, bro. After that, I was a noodle, bro. What I, you, what you was, was benching? It was a bar first, then he put like 15s on each side. Then after that, he put 10s on each side. And then after that, I think he put like fives on each side. And he said, do how many ever you can do. Then do push-ups too, like 20 push-ups. But after that, it was like the, really the 30 seconds, like, all right, I got to do this. And right I got to do push-ups right after, bro. I was through. And then after that, he just, I just did more and more shit. But after that, I was the nigga screaming in the gym, nigga. So, like, what's, so, 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 what, what's your, like, when me, my goal is to lose my stomach and tone my shit up. Like, I sat down real quick and I looked like I had titties. Like, I'm like, whoa. Like, that's when it yeah. clicked to me. Like, yeah, I gotta get my shit. What's your goal? My goal is really to, just to be in the practice of fitness. Not really, I really don't have a body goal, to be honest. I do want to be fit, but my thing is, I just want to have the discipline of, keeping myself in shape, whatever that looks like. So like, I don't really have like, my body ain't even that bad anyway. I just want to be a little more toned. You already eating different? 
Uh, that's gonna be the hardest part for me. Nah, bro. not right now. Like I'm doing, I'm, I'm being more, I'm being mindful. Like I'm, he want me to start eating protein. I say, hey, bro, I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to be all. Be at like, the spot that, yeah, at you know, the spot they got these protein shakes. I ain't trying to be like, all crazy. But out they here can, they can put any flavor, so it would make it kind of better though. You know what I'm saying? This the part I hate about working out is the 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 recovery, bro. Cause I the next doing day. little shit like taking my hat off, yeah. man. You taking the shit. Wiping your ass. I'm just gonna be clear, transparent here. I, that 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 shit made me pissed off. Like just moving your arms, like I, it's it's fucked up. I'm yeah. Taking my shirt off and shit. This is fucked up. I can't wait to get him back in there. Hopefully this shit can get worked out. Cause I'm on fire, nigga. Yeah. But you got to. That's fire. what I'm saying. You just gotta keep stick to that three day week shit. Yeah. That's gonna yeah. be. But the eating shit. That's what's gonna be the hardest shit for yeah. me, dog. Cause. I eat a lot. Then I'm in the club. I eat all. The, I get drunk and want to eat the club food. Yeah. Bar then food. afterwards go to Coney. Then Coney. Like so, I'm really. I rather. Every time I take this nigga home and he rides with me, hey bro, let's let's stop at the two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, bro, who the? F I don't do that shit. Like, hey, no. And, listen, and, and the I one time know he did. every time. Like, hey, and he took me to the hood is hey, Coney and Island. The, and the niggas, one time. niggas was shooting dice gun on him in the front of the damn store. I said, bro, what the fuck, bro? The one time he said yes, bro. Oh my god, this nigga usually tell me no all every the time, time, bro. bro. It's Unless it's a group of niggas, but if it's like, like, like one day I ride, I go to his house or some shit. And I ride with him or whatever the case may be. I'm like, hey, let's go. Ooh. He, no, 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 I gotta get home. No, I gotta, no, no. One, the one time he said yes, nigga, we go to the Coney. <laughs> Bro, this we is go terrible. We go to the Coney and it's literally 15 niggas, not in front of the building, in front of the door, shooting dice. Every nigga on them got a strap. There's straps on the hood of these cars. And like, this nigga, like, you sure you wanna go to this car? <laughs> I'm like, this the one you go to regularly? <laughs> nigga, what is wrong with you, bro? So look, we sit there, we wait on a nigga to crap out, boom. So he knew we walked through the door and shit. So nah, this nigga like, damn, you know we still gotta go back through that shit. <laughs> this nigga, bro. This why I don't say yeah, man. This why I don't do that shit, man. Like, I can't, what the fuck, dog? Like, these niggas tripping, like, dog. So look, this is my rule, bro. But it be like, like that, though. Like, I'm not really scared, scared person. But if I know it's a street that has Crips and Bloods on it, and there can be violent, I'm not going to willingly go down that street, okay? Okay? I, that's, just, that's just things I don't do. But this motherfucker, man, I, I just was like, bro, how is this the Coney you normally go to, bro? Yeah, and right this there. nigga go by yeah. itself. The only reason I stopped going, I mean, y'all niggas know how you go to the Coney in your hood. Like, yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. You do. I do too. Like the, but like, I the never one, see the, the one on six. Like, the uh, the killer like Coney, that. nigga. Uh, I, what's that? Uh, Oscars, nigga. Oh, like you know what I'm saying? You will go. Yeah. To, you probably go there. Like, I wouldn't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Like, you feel that's me? True. Only reason I stopped going to the company that I was going to, though, because a nigga got killed up there. That nigga, uh... <laughs> Dang, the, the, that's it, fucked up. Yeah, like, it was... He, the nigga, he shot two niggas in that bitch. He was on comedy, everything. Nigga, like, that's when I was like, nope. See? So, we riding. If you taking him, just make sure... Because he don't even know this. If you roll with me and I got to take you home, my night is even longer. Like, my night is longer, so I have to drive home after this so like I, going to coney that's an extra time so yeah i most definitely to say no a lot you know that i'm shit, sick that was the one time that, you that said, was the one time yeah. I, I for sure usually say no yeah. i don't be on that shit. but then that's gonna be the hardest part but even when i go to coney now nah, i get a salad no, you know what i'm saying i get a good chicken, chicken salad you know but i'll fuck it up and be like hey bacon like you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like but i still look at it and said i ate a salad like um that's why the diets don't work for me because I try to finesse it any type of way mm -hmm. I can. You know what diet? I, I'd rather do an intermediate, intermediate fasting. Oh, shout out to you. Yeah. I don't even, and shout out to Jay Z. Intermediate fasting. Oh, yeah. But look, uh, I think it's time we, you know what I mean? Because I actually went to Cloud Nine the other day to pick up this wonderful package. The bag. Here. The wonderful package here. You know, I told him, I don't really know what this means. I just know it smells good. I don't know, you know, I don't know about the herbals. The green the rice like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I know this got a little purple on it. That's the you know, purple. The, that's the, the purple runs and the, the GG8. GG8. You know what I'm saying? I know this the purple runs GG8. You know we got the good Kool Aid here. You know this is my type of shit right here. This 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 is all me. You know what I'm saying? If you know I didn't I didn't tap in today, but I plan on tapping in later to. on today. Oh, we about to. 
We're about to go ahead and we about to go. Okay. Yeah. These are my favorite right here. These is like uh, they kind of sweet. They kind of a little tart a little bit. You know what I mean? Like the sour patch kids. Like, last you know what I'm saying? They kind of both and shit. Then you got the cookie as well. Yeah. Uh, yep. So Cloud Nine on Wyoming with a K. With a K, man. They actually seven forty Wyoming, man. It's actually a lounge for real. You know what I'm saying? Like you can go in there chill. Like I went in there. You got the couch. You got the TV. They got the vibe. You black got the snakes on, all over that bit. Black on clothing in there. Great time. Great time. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh. Partake. I'm gonna take half because uh, pop the whole boy, man. I'm already kind of uh, did some stuff before I left the crib, and um, uh, you know, I'm about to roll up the purple ones. Yeah, we about to do so that. So if I'm asleep by the end of the episode, y'all know where to go. I think I think since we already talking about rolling up, I think we got to give some appreciation to somebody that's been going crazy in the city, man. I'm listening. Eastside egg fucking roll we, we put them on our page we put them on our page uh shouting them out just asking like is he the new detroit viral rapper this motherfucker is entertaining <laughs> that's the one way he's fucking entertaining the zips are in the blender bricks in, in the, the bricks fender, and the fender on that motherfucking roll heavy heavy on the bitch <laughs> on the bitch <laughs> what do you got what is it uh wonton Wine, west coast wonton that nigga was uh that nigga was down there in L.A. I don't know if he's still on there. He was down there in L.A. and shit with some Crips and some all that shit, nigga. West Coast wine time, nigga. Man, on a bitch, though. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest Asian out, nigga. Like, that nigga be snapping, bro. But the thing is, when you go places, that's what you be hearing. Zips in the blender, bricks in the fender. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, go crazy, nigga. We gotta get you. Come, we yeah, we, you always, it's always a spot. Come so it's a spot right here. You know Come and connect, bro. Come on, you know what I'm saying? We we we. I appreciate what I see. You heavy, consistent on and the content. And you putting on the city. And you putting on for the city for sure. East Seven Mile. Putting on the city. Very transparent. Putting this ethnicity out there, even though it's kind of hard to hide anyway. But especially with the name. But uh, Eastside Egg Roll. It's, it, hey man, I'm <laughs> loving my city. We were world, just talking bro. like he got the energy of like how like Sada man. Yeah, he got, like, the he got the energy, energy just the the, the, the character. The don't give a fuck. The don't bro. give a fuck. Just it look like that's authentically him. Been him for a long time. I, I, he I just like got the song with Rocky too. So oh yeah, I seen that. Uh, Motherfuckers all always look like he working, man. So yeah, big props to Eastside Egg Roll, man. We definitely. So man, I told you we was gonna do a game. We was, we was gonna do the fuck for fuck today, right? We said it, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know no. how. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know how. Like, yeah. serious you were. I thought that was just a joke. No. no. Okay. So. What so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the meet the connect for for oh, me and Spooty. Okay. Boom. You ready, so dog? So you basically testing me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause okay. we I never really get you lit. You feel me? Ooh. Me? Yeah, we no, like, like, cause stop, listen, stop, stop. no, listen, we not when, we, be, we, not when we had a games, we be winning most of the time, so we don't be joking. But, I, but that, that don't mean I don't be lit on this bitch. Right, but I'm saying, well, come on, come on. like that be through the course of the show. Like, I'm trying to, we, try, you okay, gonna be on. like how we get the guests, nigga. Why well, I gotta be the guest? Why can't you be the one answering question? Just cause I thought about it though. That's kind of, that's kind of. Yeah. Yeah, depend on these questions though, cause you oh, know, no, to, oh man, know how you try to play it. I don't depend on these questions and shit. Man, depend on these questions. We, we gonna see. Come on. No, nah, again. Come on, come on. We gonna see. Come on. All right. Boom. Says so, Spooty. We gonna go. We gonna go some smart shit with this nigga. Mm. You ready? I'm not smart. Where is that? Oh, I'm, I got just, ready I'm not smart. I'm just wise. You know what I'm saying? You just when you go to school, y'all just do your work. Do your work and try. That's all you really need to do. Give a fuck. That's really it. Like you don't have to be smart. Just act like you give a fuck. Give a fuck about what you're doing. How you look, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be man. out there being a bum in school, yeah, that's just not just, doing yeah, shit. That's just facts. You like, come on, man, actually care about the grades you're trying to get and try. You will more likely get good grades. You ready? I think so. And that was the TNS moment of the day. Yeah, that's TNS approved. <laughs> big fact. <laughs> that's a big fact. All right, boom. Here you go, Brody. All right. Name four states that start with the letter A. Alabama. I don't fucking know, bro. States? I don't know this one. Yeah! 
Yeah. I'm not a ge- I don't know geography, bro. Yeah. I really don't, bro. Yeah. I don't know the capitals. Alabama, I don't know Alaska, shit. Arizona, Arkansas. I said I was gonna say Alabama, Arkansas. I don't. I don't want to even sound stupid. Say a city, bro. What you gonna say? Alabama, Arkansas. I'm saying what city, y'all. You gonna fuck around me out Atlanta. I don't want to say Atlanta <laughs> on some bullshit. Like, I'm straight. You, okay. you know how this shit go, bro. Yeah, I, you, that's what? That's uh, right. State of Tainment, nigga. All right, good. Yeah. You right. All right. Yeah, you know I ain't got this. Come on, let's man. Let's get it. You gonna get it. Come on, let's go. Uh, so what you want to do? You want to do is you want to go to Spelling Bee? Because I got some shit for that, too. Yeah. We can do the 444 one more time. All right, boom. And then we go to the West Night. Boom. All right, boom. Here we go. You the, you you be hip, right? I think. So you name I'm, uh, it depends. <laughs> you know I'm like No, we're gonna go we gonna go we're gonna we gonna stick we gonna stay to our shit. Alright, come on. Since he you know he's in the neighborhood supporter, he know everybody in the neighborhood, right? Name four West Side female rappers. Uh Rocky, Vanilla, uh Italia, and I don't know if they from the West Side, bro. I don't know who the fuck is from the West Side. That shit don't matter to me to be honest, bro. Only time I know y'all niggas from the east side or west side. Y'all have them in your names, okay? All right. Now, if you coming to do the show, I'll probably do a lot of background on you to know. But I do background as far as like your music, what you're doing currently. But your, your east side, west side, shit don't really matter to me. Uh-huh. All right, come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can do. We can do one spelling bee. Ah, we can do one spelling bee. I got something. Nah, you just fucked up. I got you on the next episode. I ain't gonna do it today. Mm-hmm. Next episode, I'm on your ass, boy. Yeah, hopefully we got a guest. Nope. <laughs> we gonna have no guests one time. I'm holding on to this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm holding on to this bitch. I'm gonna spell a whole bunch of dinosaurs, nigga. Get your shit. <laughs> you gonna be having to spell a whole bunch of dinosaurs or some shit, nigga. All right, you ready? Come on, nigga. You ready? Well, so, lots of soap and raptors or some shit, the nigga. The word is... Maneuver. Damn, I was supposed to know that one. As in another way to move. M- it's a verb. M A N. Get your weak ass on him. I don't know. I'm not looking at it, bro. I wouldn't cheat, bro. M A N U V E R. You ask me, you tell me. Nigga, that, is that it? Motherfucker? Yes or no? If you say yes. M A N E. U V E R. See, some of these little words, bro, like it just don't be making sense to me. Like it just don't be really making Y'all sense. Y'all see that, nigga? I'm through. This is it. This is last. This yeah, is it. see? Missing accomplice. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm a little saucy, you know? Hey, just because, man, just because I'm a real nigga, man, I ain't gonna hide you. That's fine, man. I, I, now that we got that out the way. I can talk about what I want to talk about. Now you got me a little saucy. I did have an edible already too, so now it's really about to just be Tom's kid. But I want to talk about, I don't know if you heard it already. What? But we've had talks about it. And you have, you feel a certain type of way, I feel a certain type of way about some of the, the new artist that's one of my favorites. You, you think he, he okay, but he's not as good as I say he is to be, but they released a new album, Dumber and Dumber 3. Oh, you talking about Rio? Rio, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, to me, Rio, he that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm, One of the new niggas. Okay, what's the next yeah, what's, okay, so, what's what do you feel about the album? Did you get a chance to listen to it? I got a chance it? to listen to it. But, I, 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 I listened to it on the way over here. Because, I, for some reason, I just knew he was going to ask something about it. But, I, I have to listen to the whole thing again. But, it's, I mean, it, it didn't mean, I don't really have, see. You with, don't really have no expectations. Yeah, yeah. like, I don't, my expectations, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he's terrible, you feel? I'm not saying that at all. My expectations just don't be like, oh, he about to get a banger. Because some of the shit that I really don't be fucking with, a lot of people be like, oh, that's a banger. Like, just off of the strength of what yeah. he's saying, or, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? My expectations is never really too crazy. But I feel like it was what he needed. He's about to sit down. What is it? 60 he's, months? He's, he's sitting down now. 60 months? Yeah. So he got to sit down for like 50 something more months. Like, you know what I'm saying? He don't have to drop some music. So he probably had to put some shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like, that yeah. would have been a smart thing to do. Yeah. So yeah. it's like T.I. with the paper trails. I mean, it was a paper trail. Yeah. No, paper the paper trail came out when he came out, after he came out. What like what, what came out? What, I don't he, think he dropped nothing. Yes, he did. Um, he, right before he went in. Um, 
I swear to God, he this did. This is this is his man. Ti is his man. Yeah, so man, he got some. It's to, paper trail, bro. That's what I'm, uh, it might be paper trail, or whatever. Paper, paper trail, trail was kind of straight to me though. But it was different as fuck. Like yeah, from yeah. what he, you know, all what he saying? had was singles on that bitch. You feel me? Like that bitch was a bang. But that's what he had to do to. Um, that's what he had to do. Yeah, big fact. Because he was about to get locked up. You know what I'm saying? And then all this other extra, like you know what I'm saying. So niggas just gotta stay relevant. That's what he's doing. Stay relevant. Yeah. So I feel the same way. Like as far as the, I know you put this out because you doing your time. You you had to rush to probably make the, you know, the album. So to me, I can hear that this bitch was rushed. You see what I'm saying? I can hear oh, it in the music. Say, you know what I'm saying? I can hear that the the project was rushed. I can tell like that ain't the. That ain't the, really the Rio that, you know what I'm saying, that can really jump off into that bag. It was kind of like, it's cool, but it was, it, 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 it didn't meet my, it didn't meet my, my Rio expectations, you know what I mean? And that's, them probably some, there might be some high expectations, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I was just really kind of like, damn, bro. I was really looking forward to the project, but uh, I don't know. And you know what it made me think about? Cause I don't know if it's any track on there that has a chorus. All of them was just Bar straight point. through bars. But do y'all remember the time where a nigga dropped 300 bars, 150 bars? That was like a highlight, nigga. Do y'all remember that shit? Like Ti dropping 100 bars, Ti uh, Game dropping 300 bars. Like niggas was trying to tune in and listen. Now nowadays, that's a regular format of a song, like. I, I really don't I want to I want to go back I want to I, I want to go back like that no hook shit is cool if certain people know how to do it right but I want to go back to where it was like or I'm waiting to hear 100 bars 200 bars from this motherfucker 300 bars but nowadays bro back then the niggas was talking about something like yeah. game 300 bars he was talking about some shit from the or 300 bars dissing a nigga or you something. feel me <laughs> you know what I'm saying nowadays these niggas don't be talking about shit like you feel me? Like yeah. them niggas back then, like when um Cassidy and and the game and, and all them niggas, bro, they was talking about shit. This and niggas talking about what's going on and shit niggas knew about, so they knew what yeah. they were talking about when they said it. Like only niggas that's really be knowing about what niggas be talking about is street niggas for real, bro. Mm -hmm. Rap bitches and street niggas, bro. Like like niggas that's like People might like, oh, it sounds sweet, but niggas don't be knowing what they talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can't do 300 bars of that for real, for real, like, and expect it to be no, that. No, my thing is niggas damn near be doing it with how they doing these songs. It don't be no choruses on these songs no more. But them songs still be short as fuck, though. Yeah, some of them. <laughs> like, like, you doing a song with that, doing straight through probably like a minute and 45 seconds type yeah, shit. Yeah, two thirds. Like 300 bars, like four minutes, nigga, five minutes, a whole song damn near. Like a verse of 16 bars, mm -hmm. you feel me? Like, that's four songs type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. these niggas can't, it's not gonna be niggas that do that shit on that type of time, bro. Cause they don't talk about enough shit. They, niggas don't give up, like what? That's a big fact. Like the street shit cool, like yeah, but you can only say so much. You can only say so much, so many times, so many ways. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's why. But them niggas was always talking about some shit yeah, back in the Wayne, day. Like, the damn. 2009, 2000s, 2000, 2010 era. Like, nigga, that was music for real. Niggas was spitting. Like, even before the end. Like, I was just saying that because that's when we was really into music. Like, yeah. middle school, high school type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 1998s, 97s. And, like, come mm. on, man. Niggas was really spitting. Like you say, niggas going at this and that niggas and all type of shit. Like niggas really spit. Nowadays it ain't that. Nowadays niggas ain't beef because they beef get you killed on this bitch. Yeah. Quick. Like you know what I'm saying? So I wanna go back. And I'm glad you just said that because I gotta plug this bitch real quick, nigga. August 20th, because I know this is gonna be out before August 20th. We got the 99 to the 2000s oh, Millennium bad. Party. My nigga Chinky gonna be in the city. Hey, look, I'm just getting trying to get a free booth. Can I? What's up? Fuck with me, I got you. Let me get a free booth, man. My Come nigga man. Chinky gonna be in the city. Fuck free with booth. me. Uh, me and DJ BJ gonna be on the ones and twos. All classics from '99 to the 2000s, man. All of that shit, man. We gonna take it back to music, music, man. Where niggas having fun, niggas ain't mind doing the dances and shit. Like we gonna have fun and that shit, man. Shout out to Big E and A Will, man. man come on. 
You gotta plug uh, that. Yeah, I, I just need to. I need to get in there. Yeah. I need to get in there. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna do the chicken head. I'm gonna, you know, That's what I'm saying. Niggas was in that. I can't bitch. do it right now, but you the niggas know, was in that. Hey, with out, with a I, smile on their face, hitting that bitch, bro. Like what? In that bitch. Going Telling crazy, you, nigga. Man. But yeah, that be. But that's what I'm saying. Like them. That was music for real, for real. Like everybody was hip to everything. Everybody knew. Nowadays, it's like nigga got ten songs yeah. I ain't never heard of before. Like you know what I'm saying. And while we plug in um, events, I'm gonna just shout out Vintage Vibes and Views for going down September 9th mm -hmm. at Bluefin Bar and Grill. Vintage slot still open, and you know what I'm saying, hosted by Tony Briggs, DJ by DJ K Dirty, and um, we we talk about that. So we, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> plug your <hey. laughs> plug your event. <laughs> Hey, we, 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 we'll talk about that later, y'all. We're we, we going to get into that back later and shit like that. But yeah, Vintage Bottle Views is free for everybody. Full service bar and grill. Even if you got like a mobile business, you can pull up. So like, don't be scared to pack, get that vendor package. You know what I'm saying? You can come on and pull up. We got first class elite on the, you know, on the ticket already. Okay, so like, man. so if you got like a, a mobile I love business. Tony, man. I love Tony too. Shout out Tony Brooks. Uh, she fired. Tony for sure fired. And shit like that. But. Yeah, man. That's make sure y'all vendors, man. For real, man. This will be an opportunity for y'all to um, broadcast, put y'all clothing line, your brand, your business, whatever, on a platform. Big facts. And I never, I haven't said it yet because I was waiting to make a big ass announcement. But why not do it here? Because it's me to fuck the neck, right? Boom. Do see what them shots so, do? We're yeah, you're right. Don't trip. You going? So we opening up slots. So it's a lot of people that don't have like an actual physical product and stuff like that right so we're opening up slots where you can come and showcase your business it can be a you can present it if you are of a workout class if you have a step aerobics class come do your step aerobics shit show them come get the emails around come take your tablet get your emails while you're talking about it have talk, speak about what you're doing and then do it if you have a coaching business come speak about your coaching business what you have to offer all of that shit we have a projector screen if you want to put like a graphic up on there you can do that be ready to talk $75 slots. I have never seen nobody else do this shit and only have a few slots. They will be going up on the H2 Apparel website very, very, on a very beat. soon. On a bitch. Heavy, heavy. But, you know, it's going to be a very, very great event. It gets bigger and bigger every year. Big facts. Big facts. Every yeah. year it gets bigger and bigger, man. That's, that's what's up. Shout out to Venice Vibe. Big, big fact. Big fact. Big fact, man. Shout out to H2E, man. Big My fact, nigga Smoothie man. going crazy. Oh, yeah, you going My dog. Y'all know this, nigga. But, yeah, man, I think that's... Good, good, good episode, man. And like I said, we had a lot of, we had a little, we was doing had a little moment because, you know, when we say we make stuff up on the spot, this, this, this might be one of those episodes. No, it is one. I know, you know what I'm saying? No, this, no, it, you know what I'm saying? But we, we just get at what we do. This is one. Listen, we, man, we just get at we, what we do. Listen, man. When we, when we, we, listen. We just get at what we do, man. Oh, this nigga. But we extend our head. What is this? Hold on. Which, which one is this one? Purple runs. Oh, uh, the purple runs got him acting crazy. When we extend our hand, oh, man, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, 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 we don't have to. You feel me? Like, like we can show y'all these, we can show y'all to meet the Connect DMs right now. Like, it's niggas in our shit, bit, like, begging to come on this bitch, trying to pay to come on this bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and when we reach out to niggas, like, we expect, like, the same type of courtesy on the way back. Like, you feel me? Like, if you can't come, you can't make it, shit happens, I get it. Hit a nigga up. The same way we communicate it for you to say, yeah, you can communicate that shit. DM, text, and say, I can't make it. Or call me, man. Like, it ain't like, I get it. Shit happens, bro. But me, I'm going to see this where me and him is different. I'm the type of nigga, I take shit personal. Like, so, it's like, if y'all can't come, cool, I get it. Shit happens. But let a nigga know, bro. If I if we tell you a certain time, don't, don't come 45 minutes, an hour, 30 minutes later after that time and expect shit to be sweet. Like, this is a production, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we pay for the, all this shit, like, all this shit is us, you feel me? So it's like, this is business, you feel me? This is what we do, but this is business, you feel me? So it's like, we ain't we ain't tripping, we ain't hurting for guests and all that other extra shit, but like, just be, what's the word I'm looking for? Stand on business, that's the shit we've been saying, like, just stand on business, man. If you can't make it, say that shit. Like, just don't have us looking goofy, because that'll have your ass not being able to come on this bitch till 2023. Like, yeah. <laughs>
Like, no, I feel that. That's and I got the and sense. guess what, nigga? And I can make that happen for real, nigga. Huh? See, I I agree with most of what, everything he's saying, but it's just he takes it a little more personally than me. But I I, I agree. Like, yeah, just you know, this is a production, man. You know, we courteous to have you on the show. Want the same respect. You know what I'm saying? But he just be a little more. Me, I don't give a fuck. If you did that and the time come back around and it's right, come on. I'm gonna talk about you on the show. How you spun, but that's just because I don't be doing shit like that. Like, you feel me? That's why I be taking it like like if I can't you make not it a spin master? No, 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 no. That with the hoes. Oh. But I don't know shit like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't know business like some shit like, hey bro, I can't make it. you gonna know. Like, you feel me? Like like that's okay. just that's why I take it so much more because I, I wouldn't do that. Like you feel this is why you take it personal because he's actually a finesser, but he at least doesn't finesse on business. So look, that's for all saying. you finessing ass niggas out here that be spinning this shit, man, don't spin on the business, man. Just keep your finesse shit separate, okay? All right. Well, we gonna wrap it up on that, man. I'm tired of talking to you niggas for today. We got this nigga lit. Buddy, get some food, dude. We probably get some meat. That's what we're gonna do. I'm the wild boy of the city. DJ out of control. It's your favorite Uncle Spooty, aka the neighborhood. Supporter. And y'all already know where the fuck y'all at, man. Smeet the connect, man. Yeah.